Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to talk about something that seems to be kind of something that's being slightly ignorant pushed around in the YouTube fitness community. However, I don't want to be derogatory on it because while the guys are really, they're sounding a little silly and ignorant with this, they're actually promoting something positive, and it's something I actually approve of in a way, so I don't want to come across as being too harsh here. A bunch of the YouTubers have been throwing around the word overtraining in a positive way, They've been writing overtraining programs, and the truth is that they're misusing the word overtraining. Overtraining is always negative. It is an exercise science term. It's a sports physiology and sports medicine term. And when someone has actually reached an overtrained state, oftentimes they need to be hospitalized. They can't work out. Usually, if you are truly overtraining, and trust me, none of these guys on YouTube have ever reached this state. They've never actually overtrained. If they did... That generally, like your blood pressure goes way up, your resting heart rate goes up, you get intense cramps all the time. Usually your strength drops about 25%. So for example, if you can bench 300 pounds, your back strength will probably drop down to like 220. Everything just goes down and your body goes out of whack and sometimes you need to be hospitalized. It, it's a pretty serious medical situation for athletes to be in. And yeah, it can take months to recover from if you really reach that state. So what they're doing, they're calling over training is just high frequency training. And I went and watched, because guys, I don't watch YouTube fitness. For some reason, people think I do. I would say on average, I watch one to two YouTube fitness related videos every week. So that's less than 30 a year, through a whole year. I make YouTube fitness videos. I'm not really interested in what other people are doing if they aren't talking about me or something I said. I don't go to them for information. So, but I had to go see what was going on with this overtraining thing. And I went and watched like uh, Mike Rashid doing it. And what he was doing is not called overtraining. It's called Bulgarian light. That's the actual name of the system he was using. The exact system he was using is called Bulgarian light. He was going in and training to a training max on his squat or, or two or three rep max every day on the squat. That is an effective proven system, but this isn't new stuff, guys. Using Things like Bulgarian light isn't new. In fact, this program, this training style has been a proven effective training style longer than, say, Mike Rashid has been on the earth. This is really old school stuff. A lot of top level world class strength athletes and Olympic gold medal holders have used methods uh, over the years, over the decades where they squat or deadlift or both every single day. This is nothing new. This isn't a new style of training. So I can definitely appreciate that some of these guys are promoting this and pushing this a little more now, but we need to be use the correct terms because when we start taking sports science terms and we change their meaning, it creates confusion. And I know it sounds good on hyping up, but he's not doing, he didn't write his own program. He's just running Bulgarian light. It's not overtraining. And again, I do want to stress so that what he's doing is effective. It, it actually does work. It's just that it's a previously written system called Bulgarian Light. And there's also similar stuff like Coach Matt Perryman wrote a book a few years back called Squat Every Day. You guys know I've put out videos on how to squat and deadlift every single day uh, long before that. So this is something that's in wide circulation and has been for a long time. It's nothing new. It is a very effective method. The only reason I think some of them are calling it overtraining is because it goes contrary to what bodybuilders and heavily enhanced bodybuilders have taught in terms of training styles. But that's stuff I've covered in the past a lot as to how they developed it, why it's wrong uh, for people who aren't using heavy doses of drugs. And the thing to remember there is that this Bulgarian light is actually the light version. So like what Mike Rashid is doing, the Bulgarian light where you squat to a max, a one, two or three rep max once a day, that's called Bulgarian light because the way the Bulgarians did it was they did this three times a day. So several hours apart, they would come in and do this. So they were actually doing three times as much work. So the Bulgarian light is when you scale down and only hit those training maxes once a day. So hopefully that clears all of that up and people understand this overtraining stuff is actually nothing to do with overtraining. The terms really need to be changed because it's really going to create a lot of confusion for people. All right, guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time. But let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go. Oh, Mount Bicevius.